start just by getting a bit of um, a bit of background on, on pirate life and, and how Jack, Michael, and Red yourself uh, got started and uh, started collaborating uh, in, in brewing beer. Well, it's probably started when uh, we as a family lived in America. So when Jack finished high school at the age of 18, he, he needed to be toughened up a bit. So I thought, well, a good way to do that was to send him off to Brewdog to. Um, he initially only for a three month stint to um, just basically work on the bottling line up there because I knew they were short staffed because I was pretty close to the boys and uh, so he got up there in the uh, sort of the November of 2010 I think it was and uh, Red turned up there in the February of 11 and uh, they ended up... 09 and 10. 09 and 10. Right. Um, and they uh, ended up not only working together but uh, sharing, a, uh, sharing a house together as well for nearly a couple of years so uh, great opportunity for them to learn the brewing school from you know, uh, Martin Dickey and uh, James Watt, obviously everybody knows Brewdog and they know the success they've had so it was a great opportunity for the boys to, to uh, you know, get a really good understanding of uh, what craft beer is all about and I think uh, understanding what hops, what role hops plays sure. in, in craft beer and then uh, when Jack's time was up he, uh, he came back got a job with the uh, Little Creatures so he uh, ended up nearly having four years at Little Creatures, one of their brewers and, uh, and Red uh, set up uh, Cheeky Monkey which is a um, a 12, uh, 12 heck brew house and a 400 seat restaurant down in Margaret River. Uh, so uh, the boys were you know, working away and Jack had always said to me that he wouldn't mind having a brewery at some stage and uh, I, just, uh, I just thought the opportunity, the boys were ready for it, they both had plenty of experience, they're professional brewers yeah. and uh, we put a business plan together and uh, we'll talk about the rest shortly. Yeah. Pirate Life, the, the brand. Um, where are the origins and what's the, the story behind Pirate Life? Well, there's no uh, no origins or no story really. It was uh, I think uh, Jack woke, run, woke up one morning and uh, uh, rang me at seven o'clock and said two words and it was Pirate Life and I said not bad. You better ring Red. So I rang Red and Red, he said two words Pirate Life and uh, Red said not bad and that was it. So uh, I think what had happened in Jack's mind overnight, where we all we all know the saying, yeah, it's. Uh, We'd like to live the life of a pirate, and he just inverted the words, and, and that was it. So it was a, uh, you know, uh, a young kid sitting down, you know, sometime between midnight and seven o'clock in the morning, came up with a, came up with a name. So <laughs> over a few, probably a few good beers too. Yeah, yeah. So, but often, you know, with these startup companies, you're always hunting around for a name, and we've been we've been throwing crappy old names out left, right, and centre. Absolute yeah. stinkers. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> and uh, so was, uh, we, we we gave up thinking about it for a while, and uh, and uh, and pirate life came up, but. I think it's really uh, if you when we when we travel the country and talk to um, customers, the, the name really resonates. It's got a, it's a little bit different, but you know everybody wants to be a pirate anyhow. They've got that uh, sure. little bit of uh, you know sort of scallywag about them, so uh, it's uh, it's worked pretty well. So you, you guys started out your careers, or particularly you and uh, you and Jack in, in uh, WA. You've moved all your operations or built your operations in Adelaide. You know, is, there, is there a big difference in terms of brewing in, in WA as opposed to Adelaide? And... Um, not particularly. I think um, obviously, oh, uh, with the exception of Coops, I think um, in WA you had you know, Feral and Nail and yep. Sail and Anchor around um, Matilda Bay around for a lot longer. So I think um, the beer scene in, in uh, uh, WA is pretty well developed. Um, and uh, South Australia, obviously, it's uh, yeah, Coopers and Southwark, they're going pretty good. But um, a lot of the smaller guys were just kind of kicking off, maybe maybe five years ago. Yep. And um, and uh, we thought we could uh, yeah move over to Adelaide and, and play a pretty big part in uh, in the beer scene. And that's um, that's all kind of come together now. Very cool. Uh, I think I think part of the other reason too is we we set ourselves up to be a uh, production brewery, and we wanted to have national distribution fairly quickly. And Adelaide's the perfect place for doing that, in the sense that you, we can have beer overnight into Melbourne and Sydney, mm -hmm. a couple of days Brisbane, a couple of days Perth. So, sure. uh, and because we ship uh, refrigerated, um, it's a nice. Uh, we know that it's not a long haul out. It's uh, we basically leaves the brewery on a Friday and it's in the warehouses on a Monday. So, it works uh, works pretty well for us from that point of view. Get the beer nice and fresh.